G'day, I'm just going to show you some of these uh, little kits of construction kits I've been making. This is a U Gears one, and the other one is Rockar, that's the marble climber I've been working on. And it's really just a case of popping out the pieces from this plywood cut out by laser, uh, I'm sure. And also, you just have to follow the instructions step by step um, from the instruction book and follow the pictures and the numbers and the guides through there. So here's the first one I made. It's sort of a, a, a clock, a pendulum clock, which uh, swings to and fro like that. Uh, gears through the middle there, they all have to be waxed with a wax thing to make sure they move all right. And you wind it up at the back like such. The lacquer band in there, the rubber band stretches. And then letting it go, off it goes like that. You can adjust the pendulum up there, the, uh, and it will go off at different speeds then as well. And you sort of see the way a clock face might work on one of these. So that's the pendulum. And this one here is a bit like a mechanical calculator. So if you move the numbers down and up around here, uh, it multiplies the two numbers together. So 4 times 10, if you see in there, it gives you the answer 40. Or 3 times 8, it'll give you the answer there 24. Or 6 times 11, you see in there 66. And if you're wanting to do uh, the same number, for example, 8 times 8 is 64. And it's really good for seeing the different patterns of numbers how they follow lines up and down the triangles. Tens, for example, go up and down there. And yeah, just really a pretty cool little thing to help you learn your tables or to practice them in a more of a kinesthetic sort of way. And this one here is an additor and you can do subtraction on it as well, but the way it works is a bit like this. The cancel button on this calculator is like this so you can get there's your, your uh, 0, 0, 0, and if we were to add, say, for example, uh, 2,432, uh, that's got the number there, and then, then we can add to that, say, 4,480. Now, if you see the arrow down there, it tells us we've gone too far, so we need to go up and across which adds another one to the other column. And finally, if we're going to add here as well, let's say it's a nine. Again, you get the arrow there, so add it onto the next frame there. And there is the answer to that one. Zero it again, and you can do a similar sort of thing for subtraction on the bottom. But this marble climber here is the one that took the most time. Uh, a lot of gears going together through here, a few metal and plastic bits in this one, whereas the others are mostly just all wood. But we have to use this wax in amongst all the uh, gears there to make sure they go smoothly. And I'll just do a bit of an example for you of all those gears moving around, gears and arms as it goes. And you'll start to see the marbles go as well. I'll keep moving it around so you can see all the different elements of it. And you can see there, this arm goes down, picks up a marble, goes to the top, that goes round, and then gets caught up in this ferris wheel, pops in there as well, and then over the top, that takes it to the top, that one just flopped off the top. Uh, let's see if we can get the next one going. It goes, uh, it goes around down the hill, and through this maze down here and back ready to go to get picked up again if we need to from there. So had a lot of fun with making this, took a fair bit of time, but quite a fun little thing to be doing.